engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. That was the last time NASA astronauts flew to the International Space Station on an American spacecraft. It was nearly eight years ago. Since then, NASA has relied on Russia for rides, but that could soon change. Early tomorrow, SpaceX will launch its new spaceship on a critical test flight. This will be the first time a commercially built and operated spaceship capable one day of carrying people will travel to the space station. Mark Strassman is at the launch pad on Merritt Island at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Now, this is very unusual access. We're right at launch pad 39A. From here, Apollo 11 blasted off to the moon and most space shuttle uh, missions uh, headed to the International Space Station. Behind me, you can see SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, and at the very top is what this launch demonstration is all about. It's Crew Dragon capsule. While no one will be riding inside it, SpaceX has everything riding on the success of this mission. SpaceX Dragon, we are visors down. It's final approach for NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. Straight ahead, the International Space Station. All right, there's 10 meters. But they're not 250 miles above Earth. This is a training simulation at the headquarters of SpaceX in Hawthorne, California. Soft capture confirmed, attenuation in progress. Benkin and Hurley, both space shuttle veterans, will be the first astronauts to climb aboard a Falcon 9 rocket and into SpaceX's new ship called Crew Dragon. And liftoff. Falcon 9 is the company workhorse, launching 20 times last year. But Crew Dragon needs a successful test flight called Demo 1 before SpaceX can fly people. The goal, prove it can safely dock and undock from the space station re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and splash down off the Florida coast. And we have splash down. So your mission is riding on the success of Demo 1. Certainly. The only way to really demonstrate it is to fly it and prove it. You know, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. It's the, the show me state. And uh, having those successes under your belt goes a long way to giving confidence. And if something's going to go wrong, you want it to go wrong when it's uncrewed. Yeah, when we're not on the rocket, absolutely. The final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Once the space shuttle program ended in 2011, NASA has had one option to get to the space station, hitch a ride with the Russians. A round trip ticket on a Soyuz rocket costs $81 million per seat. That is now changing. NASA has hired two companies, SpaceX and Boeing, to design and build new space taxis. We are on the brink of launching American astronauts on American rockets from American soil. Jim Bridenstine is NASA's administrator. Some of this is American pride. Prestige. I like to use the word prestige. Great nations should be able to, to launch their own astronauts into space. Dragon SpaceX for C2V2. Both companies have learned space is hard. Both are running more than two years behind schedule. And with neither yet certified to fly people, NASA is considering buying two more Soyuz seats to guarantee continued American access to the space station. Are you concerned about the delays? So we don't like delays. We, we don't like delays. But worse than a delay is launching something that's not ready. Mission success and safety is the number one overriding concern, and we're not going to do anything to put these crew in jeopardy. There is no cost or schedule pressure here whatsoever. Now, inside the Crew Dragon capsule, SpaceX is sending a dummy named Ripley, a smart dummy equipped with sensors all over to gauge the impact of this flight. Biana, Boeing is also having a flight demonstration just like this one. It'll be next month. It will send up its spaceship called Starliner. Literally a new frontier, Mark, <laughs> and, and we are wishing Crew Dragon a very successful mission. Thank you so much.